I'm not sure if a quilt top parade is actually a thing or not, but I want to show you what I made when mom and I did our quilting retreat at the coast a couple weeks ago. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle. If you watch my channel, you might know that my mom and I go to the coast to their timeshare once a year. We spend a week, just the two of us, and do nothing but sew. Or knit or stitch. Just whatever projects we want to work on, that is what we do. Last year did not go terribly well. I was still recovering from my concussion. I got 10 quilt blocks done. I was really hurting every time I sat down at the sewing machine. So this year I wanted to make up for lost time. I set up what I thought was an absolutely crazy goal of six quilt tops. And I did surprisingly well. Before we left, I had plans. First, it was to bring the fabric that I had not got to use last year. Then we hit that huge Quilter's Estate sale, and I got a whole bunch of stuff there, and it was, I'm going to use that stuff. Then, a couple weeks before we left, I was at the thrift store, and I found this. It was broken about this badly when I found it. They are... This thing is an accident waiting to happen. Two 12 inch drawers full of another quilter's pre cut pieces. When I first found this, I thought it might be somebody's scrap saver system. Regardless, it was five bucks. It came home with me and then it was coming to the coast with me. So instead of making up my mind what I wanted to work on, I packed it all into one of those big black plastic tubs you get from Costco with the yellow lid, and I brought it all to the coast. And Friday night we set up our sewing machines. I can't remember if we sewed Friday night. I know that by Saturday night I had a quilt top. These are going to fly off the couch and I do not want fabric scraps to resort. In those drawers was a whole bunch of green flannel and I don't do a lot with flannel. There were five inch squares and there were two and a half by five inch squares something by five inch squares. A lot of this was not measured precisely. And I started sewing in them into strips thinking maybe I can sew long strips of the pieces and jelly roll race this whole thing together. The reality of what I did was a lot less jelly roll race and a lot more Frankenstein as I worked to get the strips the same length and put them into a quilt top. But I love what I came up with. After I finished that one, I found that I had a lot more green flannel and if I had gone into it realizing I had this little stack, I might have tried to incorporate them into the quilt. I'm not going back and changing my plan now. Also in the drawer were a bunch of five inch squares that leaned heavily towards red and blue. And I pulled out a bunch of colors I thought would cooperate together. I cut them into one and a half inch strips. So I got three of those from each of these blocks with a little left over. And then I pieced them together. I did not have a plan. I pieced them into sections of four and then I put those together and then I decided it needed some sashing. I can't remember what I had originally packed that brown fabric for but it worked great for sashing these blocks and I think it made it just a little less red white and blue than it otherwise would have been. Then I pulled out the two by five inch strips and just started sorting them to see what colors might play nicely together and I made a big stack. I did not count them. I did not have a plan. The whole theme of all of these quilts so far is I did not have a plan. I sewed them into pairs and then I sewed the pairs into units of four strips and then I counted them to see actually what I could come up with. I went back to that set of strips and I came up with a different combination of colors and I made another one. These were such a great way to use up those pieces of fabric. I'm going to dig back into the drawers and see if there's enough for the third quilt or maybe cut some of my own scraps into this size because I had a lot of fun making these two tops. I made three trips to Joanne's over the course of the week. First one was planned. Second one we needed red. I think the third one, we needed more sash fabric for sashing. Doesn't matter. You don't need a purpose for all this, right? At that Quilters Estate sale, I found three applique blocks. These are gorgeous. 
and I was trying to figure out a way to incorporate them into a quilt and do them justice. I got a lot of coordinating fabrics from our quilting group. I'm going to donate these so they'll get their fabric back. And I started sewing 16 pouch blocks, cut down one of the appliques and then sized it back up so that it would work with those 16 pouch blocks. And here's what I came up with. I can't tell you when the last time is that I put together a quilt top that I was this happy with. I was worried about doing those quilt blocks justice, but I think I came up with something good. I love this quilt and I get to do two more of them. One is going to be just a regular postage stamp quilt without the coordination of the 16 patch blocks. The other one, I want to do something a little fiddlier. I haven't quite decided what yet. But I really hope that the person who made these blocks would not be offended by what I've done with them. Time was running out. We were close to the end of the weekend, and I pulled out those 10 blocks that I had done last year. Last year, I loved them. This year, I hated them. But I had the strips cut and some of the blocks partially pieced, and I figured I will just slog through and make this happen. And I did. This is Bonnie Hunter's Scrappy Trip Around the World. I did not lay the blocks out the way that I had originally planned because it was Thursday night. We were going to have to pack up and leave Friday morning. And my original plan just slipped my mind. I am not taking it apart and putting it back together again. This layout works just fine. And honestly, I don't love this quilt top as much as I did when I started piecing it last year. Last year I had all kinds of plans about cutting more fabric and making it bigger. I'm happy as is. This is not a hard pattern. It is a fun pattern. <sighs> Maybe don't do it in so many very similar shades of black and white unless you are really up for a challenge. It's no wonder I couldn't do this last year. And I wasn't ready to call it quits quite yet, so I took the last little leftover bits from that second quilt and pieced them together into a baby blanket. I've decided if this needs an outer border to size it up a bit. I don't like doing borders on my quilts, but this is just on the edge of as small as I can go. But it used up all the leftovers. So my goal was six quilt tops. If you count either the black and white quilt top, which I had started last year, or the little baby quilt, that's seven. One way or another, I figure I came up with six, and these are bigger quilts. A little more complicated than I had planned to make. I'm honestly surprised by how much I managed to get done over the course of the week. I don't even think I had plugged in my sewing machine between last year's quilting retreat and this year's quilting retreat. If I did, it was for something really little and not memorable. And the fact that I can't remember is a sign that I did not get any quilting done this year. I wanted to start all my tracking over get a bunch of quilts done, and wow, I think I made a good start. Let me know if you have a favorite from what I showed you. Let me know if you would have done different things with this fabric. I cannot believe how much is still left in these drawers. We thought that maybe I would get four quilts out of them. I got four decent sized quilt tops, and there is still more than half the fabric in here. A lot of it I'm not going to, it's just not usable, but I'm keeping it in the drawers for the moment so that at the end I can see what I used and what's left. This has been a fun challenge. I almost did not buy these drawers and I am so glad I did. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle and I'll be back with you with more videos soon.